this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the fantastic new Dear Scenes 2022 die by John Next Door to make a version or make this card here, which is mixing in the beautiful new craft artist shimmer sprays, which are packed with mica, suspended with pigment in the solution. Amazing colours that we've got here. And I'm going to be using Violet, Air Force and Sky and also some of the new Crafts 2 faceted sparkle gems. So we'll move to the die set. And in the die set, you get the individual strips plus additional pieces to add to your scenes. These are perfect to work with any colours that you want to at all. Or but just use really, really simple to make you a really, really simple card. So we're going to start by making the background paper. I've got a spray box here and I've just got a piece of mixed media card in here, which has got a little bit of a grain to it. So I'm going to start with the violet. Give that a little bit of a shake though it doesn't need it and spray out and i'm just going to spray across the top third quite heavily because i want that sort of cloudy look i want this beautiful cloudy look i'm then moving on to the air force and i'm going to spray that going into it i'm then going to go with the sky to give me the lighter color at the bottom and cover the bottom third of that and I want this to mix and drip and dry. And the fantastic thing about these sprays is that they are quick drying when they're in small areas. So bits down there are already dry. So instead of everything amalgamating together, you get these beautiful ethereal scenes. So we'd use a heat gun or pop that up to one side to dry. And it takes about two minutes, if that, to be fair. So we'll leave that one to dry. And what I've already done is I've cut a piece down to five by five and then I've cut another piece from that to six by six and I've matted that onto white or black and you see that you've got that beautiful shimmer on there and beautiful look from the mica that goes all the way through so we've got those two pieces I'm now going to take a piece of black card and I've cut this to five inches so this is just a whole piece of A4 and it's cut across at five inches which is exactly the right size to fit the dies and to fit the background that I've done. So I'm going to start with this scene, which is the higher one, and I'm gonna place this very high up on the card. And we're just going to tape that down. I'm using Crafts 2 black linen card here to get a little bit of texture, which is beautiful. And then lower down towards the bottom, I'm going to put the little deers the two individual deers. And I want this to be nice and even across the bottom so I have less to trim. So we pop those down and all we simply do is take those and run them through our die cutting machine as normal. So I'm just going to cut these so that you can see, rather than having these pre-cut, I want you to actually see what happens when you cut these. So I'm running them through my Kaleido. They'll fit through any A5 machine. And on the side, they will actually fit through the smaller machines like the little mini Spellbinders Prism. So you can see here, the dies have cut through, which is absolutely perfect, what we want. So I'm just going to ease the dies off. And you'll see, depending on how you've placed them, let's remove this low tack tape here. Depending on how you've placed them, you actually see they will stay into the card. And this is great because it means you can extend them on should you want to. So all you need to do is take a pair of scissors and just finish off the line on each edge. So there I have the beautiful deer. And we'll just chop the other one out again from that. And you can keep the top pieces. So you can keep those top pieces and create yourself a completely different look. But for this, all we want are these smaller pieces here. So we'll just take out the little bits in the middle just to make sure you see all the detail. And there are our two pieces done. So we're going to start with the higher piece. And what we want to do is take our background, take a piece of foam tape, and I'm simply going to run a strip across the bottom we're not sure where the bottom's going to end, so you want to put the bottom piece on the bottom of your work. For the top piece, just simply remove 
the protective sheet from your foam tape. And that will allow you to follow the contours of the piece. So we've got that done and I'm just gonna turn that over and trim that off. And for additional support, you can add pieces onto the trees or onto the deers, just to make sure that they are nicely standing proud of the background. It works really well because it gives you a beautiful little bit of shadowing. So we'll take a little slip here and we'll just add that to that deer. So what we want to do next is remove the protective tape from the bottom and place this in the right place where you want it. Make sure you're showing you know, lots of the background and place it down. By putting the tape on the bottom, we've got that exactly supported and we can then just simply use a pair of scissors, a knife or a guillotine and trim off any areas. So you could finish there or we repeat this for the other piece. So again, a strip across the bottom and trim that off. We'll take our piece of card on the back and I'm just going to add some little bits. I'm going to stop here because it may touch the bottom there. So we'll just take our little bit of tape or you can use the little foam pads just to make sure we've got support everywhere that we need it. I'll just take a little piece again for this little mommy deer here and we'll reveal the tape so that it's sticky on the other side. Do the same from the bottom and do the same again. So I'm now gonna just place that down. And you see now they stand proud. Turn the piece over and again, trim off any excess to give you a neat, crisp front piece. Now I've already put foam tape on the back of here. So I'm just going to reveal that. So the depth in here is two millimeter. I use two millimeter foam tape. So the depth makes, a, it gives it a nice shadow without using, making it too thick to post. But I'll mat that onto a piece that I've cut to five and a quarter by five and a quarter square. And then matted that with another piece of black that's an eighth of an inch bigger. We'll bring our card in and I've gone for a top fold on this as it supports the weight of the front a lot better than a side fold. So again, we're just going to reveal the foam tape on this, giving it a nice level of depth. What you want is to have a beautiful shadow on this. And of course, because of the mica, as soon as things, as the light sort of twinkles on it or your Christmas tree lights twinkle on it, it will twinkle itself. So we'll pop that into place. And then with the leftover piece from the spray, I've made a full set of the amaryllis flowers and I've put in the centre the faceted sparkle gems in black from the new craft artist range. So I'm just going to add those flowers on. So I'm going to use the largest and then the, the smallest and the medium. We'll tuck those in and we'll pop those on one side. To adhere these, I'm just using my glue glaze, which will give me a really nice quick grab without getting too damp. And again, a little bit there, and we'll have one just in that top right-hand corner. And very quickly and simply, by just using white and black card and the sprays, we've made a beautiful, twinkly Christmas card with a beautiful ethereal scene.